Inspired by Neville Goddard's teachings, we're going to explore whether the challenges and negativity people experience are actually manifestations of their own imagination and what that means when we think of God as working through us, as us. Yes, exactly. Neville Goddard's teachings paired with biblical wisdom suggest that our imagination is the creative power of God. So how does this all fit together? Are we saying that the hardships people face are just a result of their own unconscious imaginings? So when people are not aware of this, they may unknowingly use this power to manifest negativity in their lives. It's like Proverbs 23, 7 says, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. If our thoughts are filled with fear, doubt, or negative expectations, that's what we're likely to experience in our reality. That makes a lot of sense, and it really hits home. But isn't it a bit unsettling to think that people might be manifesting suffering without even realizing it? I mean, it's one thing to say our thoughts create our reality. But when that reality is filled with pain or struggle, how do we reconcile that? Is there a way to shift that narrative? Absolutely, it can be unsettling, but it's also empowering because it means we have the power to change it. Romans 12.2 offers a key insight. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. This means that by consciously changing our thoughts and beliefs, we can transform our reality. It's about recognizing that the God I am, the divine creative force, is not separate from us. It's our imagination, and we have the ability to direct it positively. When we understand this, we can shift from unconsciously creating negativity to consciously manifesting a life that reflects our true desires and divine nature. I really love that idea. It reminds me of the saying, where attention goes, energy flows. It's like we're being called to wake up to our own creative power. But what about when people are stuck in a cycle of negative thinking? How do they begin to break free and start imagining something better? That's a great point. Breaking free from a cycle of negative thinking starts with awareness. We have to first recognize the patterns in our thoughts and understand how they're shaping our experiences. Matthew 9.29 gives us another powerful message. According to your faith, be it unto you. Faith in this context isn't just about religious belief. It's about what we truly believe in our hearts and minds. To shift our reality, we need to cultivate faith in our own imagination, in the God I am, and begin to imagine the life we desire as already real. This process of consciously directing our thoughts and beliefs is what transforms our experience. Wow, this is really profound. It's a reminder that we're not just passive participants in life. We're active creators. And it all starts with the power of our imagination. So the takeaway here is to become more aware of what we're thinking, feeling, and believing because that's what's manifesting in our lives. For everyone listening, let's take this as a call to action. Start paying attention to your thoughts and beliefs and begin consciously creating the life you want to live. Let's explore this journey together with the understanding that the God I Am is within each of us, waiting to be awakened and directed toward our highest good. And that's exactly it. The more we practice this awareness and deliberate use of our imagination, the more we'll see our outer world change to reflect our inner beliefs. It's a powerful reminder that we're not victims of circumstance, but creators of our reality. And the God I Am is the key to unlocking that creative power. And there you have it, an exploration of how our imagination and beliefs shape our reality with the power to transform our lives when we align with the God I Am. If this resonates with you, Stay tuned as we continue to dive into these teachings and learn how to harness our creative power for a more fulfilling life. Until next time, keep imagining, keep creating, and stay aligned with the God I Am.